back to my channel guys if you guys are new to my channel hey y'all i'm really shay of course and my channel consists of vlogs strongholds nursing videos things like that if you guys are returning back to my channel hey girl hey thank y'all for coming back to my channel oh what it is oh what's up oh what it is oh what's up let me stop all right y'all so in this video this is gonna be like a update video for my recent uh youtube video that i posted starting as a new grad nurse i will link that somewhere up here if you guys have not watched that you guys need to go watch that okay so this is just an update i'm gonna tell y'all how has it been the pros the cons what i like about it and what i expected versus reality so if you guys want to hit the spill, keep watching this video, get this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel below, and let's get it. If you guys want to know how did I get my first nursing job, my interview process, things like that, put in the comments below. And guys, I would love to do a video and update y'all on how did I land my first nursing job, okay? But let's get into this video. Alright y'all, so first things first, I want to talk about the um, orientation process. My orientation was, what, three months long? If you guys don't know, I am a mother baby nurse. We call it, some call it postpartum, some call it mother baby. So we're going to use it interchangeably in this video. So I am a postpartum nurse, which means that after the mom comes from labor and delivery, they come to me and I have the mom and the baby. So I have a couplet. So my first week consisted of modules, y'all, which was like not the most interesting part of the job, but it consisted of modules which we just learned about, you know, the hospital, the vag deliveries, the C-sections, the babies, the moms, the good stuff, okay? So that's that week. The second week, that's when we start getting rocking and rolling. I think I uh, met my priest after the second week of orientation and we got our first vag delivery. Y'all, keep in mind, I was a tech at like another hospital, you know, I was good and comfortable with patient care but i think that i don't know why but this was just a different ball game i guess because i was the nurse you know i was thinking as if like she needs something she's gonna call me i'm not the student nurse anymore i'm the nurse okay i can't go run and get somebody so that's that part i was just like more so nervous on being the nurse but my preceptor really did a great job she had me transition and it was just like such a great experience all right, y'all, so with the vast delivery, that consisted of, like, we had to set up the room. We had to print up some paperwork. And, uh, well, with all our C-section and our vast deliveries, you know, we have to do the fondle massages. We have to uh, check for bleeding, like, check for, like, a lot of things. Like, we check a lot. For us, the body, we tell our patients, look, this is an area you can be comfortable. You know, this is how we're made. So we see everything. When I tell you everything, everything, especially the breastfeeding moms, y'all. I I'm something just jumping around, but pause for a second. I love helping my moms to breastfeed because it is just like such a rewarding feeling, knowing that we produce like we are the source. We produce milk and we can feed them to our baby. And not to mention, it is such a great. It is, it is such a great process. I wouldn't say necessarily a great process because it can be a hard process too, but it's like a very rewarding process how we can like feed our babies through us and it's like so beneficial to the babies and to us also. Not to mention we have a shortage on milk formula, formula milk going around. Okay, so back to the batch deliveries. My preceptor came in each room with me, which kind of made me nervous also because, like, somebody was watching me, you know? But I had to get comfortable with that process. Like, we both broke the ice with each other and we were talking to each other. So I think that made it a little bit better. So in this process, we just go ahead and assess the mom. We uh, assess her for bleeding. We do the fondal massages. We also, um, well, in the hospital I work in, uh, when we have an admit coming to our unit, um, I am the primary nurse, so I will assess the mom, and another nurse will come in and assess the baby, and like we'll chart, she'll chart on my baby, and I'll chart on my mom. But technically, they're both still my patients at the end of the day, and I still do my assessments every four hours or every eight hours on my baby, depending on the situation. And I'll get into that 
a little bit in the video. So y'all, as I kind of stated before, that we're gonna check for bleeding. We're gonna check for like sometimes they may be on like uh, postpartum hypertension orders. You want to check for dizziness, headaches, like epigastric pain, things like that. Um, you want to check for edema. Like, of course, they're going to have some swollen. Some some people are going to have some swollen after delivery. Of course, the baby, we check, like, um, you know, we do our vital signs. You check the baby head. You know, the good stuff with the baby and see, like, is the baby looking, you know, normal or, you know, not normal. You would know if something doesn't look, like, too normal. All right, y'all, so we do have our C-section moms. And sometimes, like, you know, people get C-sections for, like, a bigger baby or, like, decreased heart tones in a baby. Things like that, but we're not going to go into too much in detail the C-section, but I'm just going to tell you my experience. But uh, for us, the C-section, we have four checks on the C-section. We have a 30-minute check, another 30-minute check, and we have an hour and an hour on our C-sections. You know, we just check it for the same thing, but sometimes, like, well, majority of the time, well, all of the time, it's like real different from the vag because our moms with C-section, they come up with uh, Foley's in and we'll have to get those Foley's out in 24 hours. And also our C-section moms, they have to keep their IV in for 24 hours. So during this process, y'all, it is a lot to take in because it is a lot of information that you have to tell the mom, like for a safe sleep, like don't get off the bed until like you get feeling, you know, keeping track with intake and output especially when you are c-section or postpartum hypertension because you don't want the mom to put on oops you don't want the mom to put on any other weight that you know that she didn't have before so that can like warrant like to problems and for us like the entire process well i would say we do more so teaching like we teaching about like the body we teach about the breasts like uh, for our non breastfeeding moms we want them to wear like um we want them to wear like what is it called i can't even think right now we want them to wear like sports bras if they're not breastfeeding you don't want to simulate the breasts um feed the baby every two to three hours and i say every two to three hours because some babies are every baby is different i can't say some babies so because every baby is different some babies want to feed a little early some babies want to feed a little late and sometimes some babies close to feed a little early and close to feeding we'll talk about that in a whole different video but i'm just telling you about my experience so it was just like a lot to intake and like sometimes i would get frustrated and overwhelmed because like this is a lot of information of course you know you learn this stuff in school but it's actually, you know, implementing and like doing, teaching your patient, you know, it is, it is a lot. And it, as I stated earlier, it's like a lot of teaching, like a lot of baby safety, a lot of safety for moms herself, and a lot of just like, just a lot of information in general. And y'all, one of my biggest fears kind of still is i'm still kind of getting used to y'all i'm only like two months out of orientation i really did just want to get my feet wet before i come on here and just like give y'all this feel of how my job and if i like it or not but uh i am really sort of kind of still scared to talk to doctors not really how it was in the beginning i'm still like you know it's breaking the ice but sometimes i'm i'm scared to call the doctors because some doctors can be very rude and very like you know i don't know like some of i'm still gonna say some from what i experienced some of them have that mentality like oh i have my doctor's degree you are below me you know but sometimes that's what like stops me for like oh my gosh i don't want to call this doctor or some mom can just be like rude, like, geez, like, I'm a nurse too. I'm human. Like, don't do that. And y'all, so where I live, I work at one of the best hospitals in my state. Should I say state? Yeah, I am in, like, of course, a, a, a woman's, like, facility. Like, mom, child, baby, that good stuff. And I can say that I really love it, being that I come from a job where I used to take and I did not enjoy it. I knew, hey, I knew, I knew med surge was not for me. I knew that I was not going to go into med surge and I was going to go into like, you know, peace or OB or like some kind of setting like that. I just knew I was not going to do med surge because that did not draw me at all. And they always pushed that to me in school. I'm like... 
at this point, I'm not getting this degree for y'all. I'm getting this degree for me, you know? And that's another thing. And I just really love my job. And I'm so grateful to be at one of the best hospitals from where I'm from. Y'all, so I would say that we can get a total of two, four, six. We get a total of six couplets, right? Two, four, six. No, we get a total of three couplets, which is six patients. So, you know, a mom and a baby is one couplet. So we get a total of six patients, which is three couplets. And y'all, the charting. This is one of the kinds. The charting in the um, my facility. It's a lot. Like, you have to chart on, like, everything. And like they told you in nursing school, you really have to do that. If it's not charted, you didn't do it. So you have to chart on the mom and you got to chart on the baby. So think about that. You got to chart on two, two, two. That's a lot of people you have to chart on. And that's one of the cons of where I work, I would say. But the pros is like really that I really love my job. I really get to be with like the moms and the babies. I am where I'm at a place where I'm happy. I'm at a place where my job do not require me to be like overstressed, you know? Some people get the urge to say that mother baby nurses don't do anything. But in reality, we really do do a lot when i say we chart like we have to set our rooms we have to like sometimes we even have to catheter our patients we have to do in and out um we gotta do in and out catheters take out foley's iv sometimes we have to start ivs we still do like the nursing the regular nursing things like for us antibiotics for us intake and output sending patients to surgery like things like that we still do the things that a typical nurse would do probably not into like too much of it but we do get it so when some people say that mother baby nurses do not do that much we really do do a lot but I'm just like really happy with the job I keep saying that I'm like really happy with the job I have and like the things that I do there and especially the baby so y'all if y'all have not checked out my other video of me starting my new nurse grad job and my new grad nurse whatever how you say it my job i'll link that like i said i'll stay, link that at the top of the video or I'll link in the description box so if you guys like this video give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel below and y'all if y'all want to see anything more of nursing comment down below comment down below let me know what y'all want to see and i'll be more than happy to do a video for y'all like this video comment down below subscribe to my channel and let's get it bye y'all Thank you.